Hello and welcome to our Divine Light Healing Circle. And today we are reminded that we are really truly made of spirit and that we therefore can transmute and transform this easement and disharmony through the alignment. Right now behind me, you are seeing a backdrop of light language creation from a lady who's downloading a lot of light language and has the artistic gift to put them into a nice framework of um, mandalas and pictures. Uh, in this case, I was ordered to use this as a background because it is in synonym of the light raining down on us, like the light language and the light is raining down on us. And that is supposed to be the theme with which we are beginning today. So we're closing our eyes and I'm calling in like usual, first the golden light from the golden sun over our heads, synonym of the gateway to our source of existence, God's source, represented through the golden light, flowing easily and naturally in a wide light stream into the top of our head, into every single cell of our brain, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, and neck. Golden light shimmers in every single cell of our body. As it flows further from the shoulders, arms into the hands and fingertips, along the spine and muscle structure in the back, into the heart and chest opening both wide, into the solar plexus to make it more radiant, into the whole digestive system, into the hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots, all old and unsupportive beliefs, energies, or diseasements can be swept away into Mother Earth for recycling its energies and can be transmuted and transformed in her body. While the golden light flows further from the heart into our aura, our electromagnetic field, easily and naturally filling our aura up, smoothing over all energy holes easily and gently. So that sooner or later we are sitting in a wonderful golden light bubble so that we then can build a wonderful golden shielding, a golden light bubble around us by pushing the gold to the side and bringing a golden light bubble around us into existence. After this is done, today we are inviting in a rainbow shimmering frequency of the divine creational light from the universal oneness, as if a crystalline shimmering rainbow flows through our body, filling out all energies complementary to what's needed into the various zones of our body. Our head takes from this nurturing shimmering rainbow light what it needs. So do our eyes, nose, mouth, throat, and neck. Shimmering rainbow light in crystalline form flows into our shoulders, arms, hands, and out of our fingertips, along the spine and muscle structure of the back, into the heart and chest, opening both wide into the solar plexus to make it more radiant. And this time we already send out from the navel, from the solar plexus, the shimmering crystalline light into anybody and everybody we are connected to and know. It's like, like a fountain. It goes and gushes out from our solar plexus into the world into our particular network and triggering down into the various networks in between people we know. And it flows then further, the shimmering rainbow light into our whole digestive system, hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots, also giving nurturing rainbow light to Mother Earth's core, 
and core crystal, rejuvenating and regenerating the vibrancy of our Mother Earth on which our feet stand on. This Mother Earth as a living organism, everything is interconnected and giving us nourishment for our body too in the form of food and resources. And we're bringing the golden and also rainbow shimmering light from the heart into the aura. And the rainbow crystalline light will fill in the light bubble of the gold so that rainbow crystalline light is floating all around us, engulfing us with warmth, tenderness, and gentleness where we need it the most, inside and outside. And now, through a little hole in the golden shield, this rainbow stream of crystalline light goes outside the golden light bubble and creates a translucent shimmering shielding like a second shield all around us. This rainbow crystalline shimmering shield is impenetrable against low vibration, meaning low vibration cannot come through. And even if we have forgotten to do the golden light bubble around us, this rainbow shielding will stand at all times once it is established. So if you have given yourself permission to build this rainbow crystalline shield around you, it will stay around you from here on out, building a beautiful, beautiful membrane of crystalline shimmering light around you, which is only penetrable by high frequencies and no more frequencies of low vibration. That should maintain your energy level on a higher frequency and make you and keep you crystal clean and clear mentally and emotionally from here on out you will see and feel a significant energy shift by having this rainbow crystalline shielding around you as you are less susceptible to other people's projections and negative belief constructs. And also when you manifest negative belief construct, they are bouncing right back for you to look at. For example, when you're sending out a negative thought about something in the world, it will bounce back from that rainbow crystalline shield for you to be aware, wow, that thought was not conducive to my well-being or to the well-being of the world. So you will be made attuned to what you're thinking and what you're manifesting. That is awareness for you. But others will also not be able to manipulate you as well or keep you down. As we have this now established for our healing circle, we call in the helpers. I ask now all guiding ones, guardians, and helpers who are well-meaning to our cause of healing according to the divine plan to take our hands and build the circle of light together with us. Angels, divine beings of all levels, elemental spirits also like fairies or other more powerful beings, whoever is conducive to the divine light healing cause of making people feel better and heal from this easement may join us now. And you might feel already the significant energy 
alleviation, uplift happening within you and your body. And you might also feel other people's hands grabbing yours. You might feel energy in your palms, pressing inward, making presence really clearly known that you are not doing this alone, but that we are indeed in a light circle. At this moment, I see a lot of geometrical forms raining down on us to create stability in our personal environment and energy field so that no further manipulation can come in from other dimensional input or overlapping energy fields like past lives and such things. So these elements are stabilizing our environment so that we can perform to the best and highest power possible at this moment in time. Also, some of these geometrical forms and elements function as antennas added on to our energy field and aura. As you have seen the picture behind me, light floods now like living light sparks from source with the divine plan, healing our bodies first so that we have enough power to heal others. Feel the gentle rain of light sparks within a lavender to violet energy stream falling into you and onto you. Within the purple lavender light stream, golden light sparks and swirls of light language fall into your energy field, stabilizing your mind, stabilizing your emotions, and last not least, stabilizing your body, your physical form. Light sparks seeking out with divine intelligence those cells or bodily areas which are in misalignment or dis-easement, putting them back together into ease and grace. We are opening ourselves up to the deepest deep of healing, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. We are open to receive your gifts now. Take a moment to Allow yourself to feel those gifts. Where does the most light energy fall into your body? What pictures might you see which are of significance? Allow the intelligent light sparks to work in you and on you. And as we are engulfed in a cloud of purple, 
lavender light filled with flitting and at work sparks of light. This cloud we are sitting in is now uplifted gently to a higher realm. Maybe we feel our body becoming terribly heavy that we feel we need to lay down. That is okay. While our spirit body can loosen up to be elevated. Maybe we feel even our physical body being light like a feather and we're taking that energy body with us going higher up. However you perceive it, it is okay. There might even be a split feeling of one part of you getting really heavy and another part of you flying high like a kite, unencumbered, high in the sky. This split feeling is okay. Should not frighten you as you're always in connection. But right now we are taking the part which is floating free and taking that part a little bit higher up. Like the kite, we let it loose and let it go higher into the sky, higher up to a next dimension. Envision that there is no more string attached to the kite of what you are. You're just floating in the skies with sunny weather and your kite has consciousness and will lead you to a very particular place. It is a place of healing. In a meadow where there is standing a circle of stones. Maybe you do not see the whole circle. Maybe you see only one or two because you're very close. Maybe you see the circle of stones from above. Whatever it is and however you perceive them is fine. But I would like you now to pick one of the circle of stones and lean against it or touch it, somehow make contact with it. That is ancient energies floods through your body, energy body, and again stabilizes you and anchors you also, grounds you in that reality there, in that healing circle reality of the healing stones. While we are here in this higher level of dimension in this meadow of the circle of stones, the purple light stream with the light sparks, which have awareness, sometimes we call them nanites, are still at work and we are still in the stream even though we are now at a different place. And I can see that the members of our group are translucent now, like x-rays. I can see the bones. I can see the arteries and veins, organs pulsating, blood flowing. And I see myriad of tiny little light sparks doing alignments, kind of like burning off certain cells, making sure and nurturing other cells to do regrowth, and many different things also on the emotional body, where there are dark energy holes on the emotional body, 
they're kind of like burned out to make room for a more light new area in the energy field new experiences new comes in and the old burnt up burnt out energy can float away or being transmuted and transformed you we are bringing now the attention back to the focus on the circle of stones and now we are calling in as we are firmly sensing the circle of beings in the same way as we sense the circle of stones, we're calling now the ones who need healing from our list into the circle. And we are talking first about the cancer group, which we now bring into the circle and mentally are calling them in one by one. So give me a moment. So these people now are in the center of the circle and we are putting our palm now towards the center and lending energy beams directed to the center where all cancer People are standing and now starting to sit and make themselves comfortable. A bubble of light is building around all the people with the diseasement of what we call cancer of various forms. And in that light bubble, which is like a gentle cloud, which is also sponsored by the light beams coming through our hands, we are seeing the little nanites, the little light sparks at work, going to cells, energy fields, organs, also mental constructs, and even some soul contracts to rearrange and renegotiate so that everything is in alignment to a best and higher order. As much as is allowed, we change today. If it's allowed karmically, we have the best and strongest outcome on the path of being totally and completely healed and healthy overcoming a discomfort called cancer by our society. We can call it misguided energies, which now will be redirected and brought into alignment. While this bubble of people is worked on, we are calling the next group in into the circle, and that's the one with emotional distress. As these people are now taken in spirit into our circle of stones here, into a different area, into a different light bubble, they also start making themselves comfortable knowing already what's coming many have been here already many a times most of them i see just relaxing and laying down on the grass in the circle feeling the flow of energy feeling connected feeling connected like they have never felt connected before to the earth to the spirit world to their soul to source and of that connectedness they can build a new hope and a new face and a new emotional balance 
And while those things float to them and flow to them through their energy lines underneath the stones, they get filled with what they lost, hope and faith. As these groups continue to be worked on, we're calling in now the next one about animals and mothers with difficult pregnancies, surgery complication, people with surgery complications, MS, and life struggle in general, Lou Gehrig's disease, Parkinson, and such. This is definitely a mixed group with specific needs, but they are supposed to be grouped together today for whatever reason. And I can see the animals hopping from person to person, giving a joyful outlook of connection to this other side of our regular life, feeling here like newborn and showing us the path to be renewed and reborn as well as these people just named from the different groups joining their healing circle, Babo, and here the animals which took negative energies from their life partners, their humans, and had then diseasements or burdens, they are now instantly disease-free in spirit here and hop from person to person to bring joy. All these people need deepest sense of joy so the joy sparks ignite hearts and ignite minds wherever an animal touches them i see birds and cats and dogs but i also see spirit animals touching these individuals where they need to be touched to let go of that which is harmful and embrace the new dynamic in their lives. It is a beautiful picture to see, like a all over, under, through kind of an energy, very unruly, very lively, but at the same time, very organized. As there's a lot of flitter flutter and a lot of jumping around. And organized chaos is the best way I can put it. Definitely a lot of joy in this group. As this group is now occupied with their healing, the next one is called force and these are people with various difficulties of physical form multiple injuries multiple physical injuries also alzheimer's from also accidents difficulties heart problems mixed symptoms from COVID. This group has a lot of physical problems and this group is now invited into our circle. For this group, I'm seeing a lot of green coming in and surrounding these grouping of people. Green foreseeing a new path, a new way, a new space, a new beginning, new possibilities. As flesh mends and shock can subside out of their energy, for that orange comes in 
to seal their ethereal gap aftershock. But the green gives a new way and a new space to deal with the physical ailments and then to overcome these physical ailments to come back into alignment of perfect health. For the energy of perfect health, silver light comes in a beautiful light stream with lots of silver, little droplets like rain, but also shimmering like fairy dust in silver, engulfing every individual in that grouping, detoxifying and harmonizing. And interestingly enough, I'm supposed to call in the last people remaining on our list to that group as well. People in a coma because of heart problem, Huntington disease, adverse vaccination reactions, kidney stones, and, and, and all the remaining people we have on our list are now called into to be added on that last group, working with the silver stream of sparkling light, working with the green, and now comes white for purification and cleansing and clearing. And as silver and white mix, it engulfs everyone in the circle of stones in the light circle which we are surrounding white and silver sparks everywhere as if it would be a fireworks on horizontal level engulfing everyone this disperses in a huge blow all negativity which had been disengaged out of people's bodies and minds and it disperses these energy fields like a snip of a finger boom boom and it's gone cleansing and clearing the field and so like as if smoke is dissipating after battlefield the silver and white light is now dissipating, taking away all the ailments with it, evaporating easily and naturally. And a group of more joyous people is left in the center, whether it's the cancer people or the people with other various disease, a lot has been going on in everyone's body, emotional body and mental body and even spirit body. One can see a new glow around every single person in the group of healing. The auras are wider, the faces more bright and smiling. More joy and hope is felt more faith is given to the possibility of healing easily and naturally. More core center resilience and brilliance is felt. And that core center brilliance, we are feeling at this moment in time, being part of this healing circle, facilitated in spirit, through spirit and with spirit of source. God source, we are grateful that we are allowed to participate in this transform transformatory and transmutational process to our brothers and sisters in spirit and also for our own bodies and minds. With that, we are withdrawing gently and easily together as a group after a big festival and leaving the stones gently, stepping a step back and disengaging from the stones and from the circle. The circle is still energetically connected, but now we are stepping a step back, disengaging from the massive field of healing flow. 
but this field of the standing stones will be there. And if you feel the need to visit, you're just envisioning this circle of stones and the field of glow of silver and white and all these different colors in it and stepping inside and lay down on the grass and let the work be done onto you for the healing. You can come back here anytime. You do not have to participate in this circle to go to that healing place. The stone circle is always there. And the moment you enter, you activate the healing and the healing clouds. It's like a cloud which allows you to soften up, to change what needs changing. But now we are connecting to our helpers to the left and disengaging with gratitude and to the right and disengaging with gratitude and taking one strand of the light from the circle, anchoring it to our heart and then sail down like a parachute right back into our body. Energetically, we are sailing down right back into our body and taking that strand which connects us to the healing circle of the stones with us in our heart. Now it can happen that while you are sailing down, you get connection to power animals or you get connections to symbols, or you get downloads of information right now while you're sailing back down into your body. Pay attention what you might see at this moment. Pay attention what you might feel in this moment. Pay attention what you might sense happening as you're receiving a download, maybe you're seeing big eyes looking at you. Then see whom these eyes belong to. Or maybe they're symbols. Intuitively know what they mean. As you're inhaling all information you can gather right now. I am in the flow of the living waters of life. I receive help whenever I need it. I receive wisdom whenever I can absorb it. And I ask for it. I receive initiation if I am open to it and ready to go to the next level. I am standing in the flow and light stream of God's source. Thy will be done through me. I am just the tool picking up more wisdom and knowledge as I'm your tool to work through. As we get more translucent and less entangled with the world, we are seeing more interconnectedness of all existence and just will intuitively know 
what's going on around us and in us. We will find the song in our body and not just when the body cries out because the body is in pain and disalignment. But we are paying attention directly to the body when it needs it or when it just wants to be acknowledged. We are acknowledging a sense of our body, how it feels when it's actually in harmony. So I'm asking you right now to find a spot in your body which feels really, really good right now. Maybe it's in your heart, maybe it's in your belly, maybe it's a little toe, maybe it's a piece of hair on your head. Wherever it feels really good in your body, let your attention go there right now. Doesn't matter if it's a tiny place in your body or a big part of your body. And then widen this feeling of goodness that it's multiplying and creeping into every single pore of your body and every single nook and cranny in your being. Let that well-being spread like a song of vibration, like a note or a tone. Let the frequency of well-being be acknowledged by anything and everything which was in disharmony or still is in disharmony. Let the harmony override and excel in your body. And it's okay to feel nervous or a little bit wiggling. It is okay to feel joyful. It's okay to feel a little bit silly. All that is okay. Even sadness is okay. But feel that tiny glow and spark of well-being in your body right now. Out of that spark of well-being will create a song of your body. That song, that harmony, which your body through which your body is connected to the harmony and song of existence. This connection of harmony, which gives a matrix of existence for our spirit to operate within. So as well-being spreads, energies of dis-ease can shrink easily and naturally, making room for love and light and knowledge of this wonderful existence. With that, we are anchoring this well meaning and feeling in our heart and carrying it there through the rest of the week. I hope you enjoyed this little healing journey. Till we meet again, keep the wellness in your heart. Enjoy. <laughs>